Hello, my name is Nazir Khan from the Faculty of Civil Engineering Technology and I will be demonstrating for you to get the area of a cross section of a roadway using planimeter. Okay, the planimeter procedure is uh, laid out here and this information is available on Learn so you could get it off of the website. I'm going to allow you to read that on your own. I'll just show you how to do the procedure. The planimeter itself is shown here and there's three parts to it. There's the actual planimeter, there's the control arm and there's a, a weight that the control arm actually fits into. Let's go and look at the instrument itself. This is the planimeter. It has a lens and in the lens there is a circle with a dot in it and that's what we're going to use to traverse our area. We have a display right here and we will see the numbers and so on and we have the control panel right here. Over on this end we have a depression where the control arm actually fits in so when we look at the control arm there's the orange end and there's the other end okay? and that fits right in there. The orange end goes into the base which looks like this and there's a depression there too, the orange end would fit into there, okay? Let's look at our cross-section. We have uh, the cross-section already plotted up and I have the yellow areas are the areas that you are going to be required to actually um, acquire the area. I'm going to just do the embankment area which is just under the pavement of the roadway, that's the embankment. You have your left ditch and your right ditch. Station 1 plus 0, 0. I have prepared um, a data sheet and I will try to get this on Learn also so that you could print it off. As you could see you have stations down here and you have for each one of this, uh, the left ditch, you have three, one, two, three reading and an average for the embankment you have one two three and an average and you're gonna have for the right ditch one two three and an average I've done a few trials here already these ones I'm gonna change this to one plus zero zero because that's the one I'm gonna demonstrate for you and this is not part of that okay so those numbers are gonna be right along one plus zero zero right in here this is no longer one plus zero zero over there. I'm going to have one, two, three, and an average. Okay? I'm going to place my instrument at my start endpoint. So for the embankment, I'm going to pick a point, and that intersection seems to be a good point right there for the start endpoint. I could place my lens right over that point with that dot right on the start endpoint. I'm going to now attach my control arm and my weight. So when we look at that from I've placed this right at the start end point. The display is there. We have the control arm up above out of the way. And I'm going to go and turn on the instrument. I'm going to just uh, turn the camera head over a little bit so that you could actually see my hand what I'm doing and what the instrument right there that seems to be good enough a little bit back maybe okay I need to turn the instrument on so I'm gonna press the on button right here the red pen seems to okay maybe that right there is the on button when you turn the on button you will notice in the display it should say centimeter squared, meter squared, or kilometer squared. Now that's the right unit for this type of paper that we're using because we are using a metric cross-section paper. It's centimeter squared. Okay. So when we get our information, it'll be centimeter squared. If it's not showing centimeter squared, meter squared, and kilometer squared, it must be in imperial mode, and you will see these units that's there, inch squared, feet squared and acres. So we need to have it in metric unit. So I am going to place place it uh, in that. 
I am ready to start. I'm going to hit the start button and I'm going to traverse my area by holding the black ring and carefully going all around the perimeter of the embankment. I'm back to my start endpoint and I have 4.8 as my reading. I'm going to record it on my sheet right in that spot right there. 4.8. I'm now going to press the end button and the end button is right here and that zeroes my display and I could traverse the area again and that's my second time and look at that I got 4.8 again so it looks like uh, I have two good travers of the area I'm gonna hit end again and I'm gonna traverse the area one more time and this time I have 4.6 as my reading now this is uh, this is the this is the third time that I've done it so I don't need to do it a fourth time I'm gonna hit the end button and then I'm gonna hit the average button and see what I get I have 4.73 as my average now that's uh, that's the procedure, the same procedure that you would use for the left and the right. You pick a starting point and you traverse it uh, four times and you always have to go clockwise. Okay, you're traversing clockwise around your area. This one I would pick that starting point there and I traverse clockwise, always clockwise around it. Okay, the numbers that uh, you're looking at is 4.8, 4.8, 4.6. It rounded or averaged out to 4.73, and uh, those look like pretty good numbers for me. These ones up here were trials that I did previously, so hopefully you could be a little bit neater than I was. And I hope that this um, presentation has uh, helped, and hopefully you'll enable you to get a pretty good mark with your uh, project. After, um, after you're finishing your areas or acquiring your areas, then we'll show you how to get volume and do the volume calculation. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.